Salek, I want to take you somewhere and show you something. So he took me on the left key. We went around the Miller Street, went to canals, not canals, tunnels, tunnels back and forth, and was one room, was laying two machine guns and a light, a candlelight, and I don't know if the telephone work or not, you know, a telephone where you turn, and was a few men and one woman. And he say, I want to, I want you to meet Mr. Anilevich, a young boy, he told me, Mr. Anilevich, a young boy. That's why I met Mordecai Anilevich, the Jewish commander of the resistance. I'm taking my cry, I met him. As a young boy, the way he talked to me, told me, you know, are they going to be in touch with me? I told them, I want to take part. I want to be something. I was so eager to join them, to do something, especially a revolutionary boy like I was. I, I could hardly wait. I was so eager. And he said, they'd be in touch with me. Very eager to do more. I want to learn how to shoot. They didn't have enough guns. They need people like me to do other things. So uh, I was involved in that in the uprising in Warsaw Ghetto. And I was assigned a few more boys uh, to organize all ammunition. If one of them get killed, our boys or the German, I should be able to recover the ammunition and bring it back. Because I was fast and quick, didn't give a damn, you know. And so that's what I was doing. When the tanks came in, got burned up in half a truck, Germans got shot, I jumped on them, took away their guns, took away the helmet, the knife. Were you hurt at all? Huh? Were you hurt at all? I was not hurt, and and few of them still was alive. You know, the Nazis crying not to kill me, not to kill me. We took it away, everything. And and where did you take the weapons back huh? to? Where did you take the weapons? To our people, to our people, and I took one helmet away. Never forget that. I wouldn't give it, I want, I want to wear that helmet. I scratched that swastika and I put it David style. 